Tiger Bee, it's Chelsea here and I have a really cool nail tutorial for you guys today and it looks like this. It uses this really cool idea of metallic nail tape and um, I've seen this idea on Pinterest. So basically they sell this metallic tape that is in comes in rolls and it's just like metallic skinny skinny metallic tape and you can put them on your nails and outline them or you know as a French tip that kind of idea and um, you cut it off into whatever size you want put on a top coat and it'll stay there so I thought that was really cool but I had no idea where to find this tape so I decided to make my own at home and I found out you just need scotch tape what I love about this nail tutorial is that once you understand how to make the metallic nail strips the possibilities are endless for nail designs so you could do crisscrosses and I don't know, like vertical stripes. So yeah, stay tuned for that. You're gonna need nail polish, something to stick your nail tape on, and scotch tape. I'm using In the Cabana from Essie and Mint Sorbet by Sally Hansen. Start with clean nails and we'll do the tape first. Rip off a long piece of tape and put it on in this case my plastic lid then you're gonna apply a good amount of nail polish onto the tape and just spread it out evenly it should look like this and the tape should be easy to take off grab scissors and when it's all dried make sure that you can touch it and it won't come off cut the tape into little, little skinny strips. This is a good size strip. Then just stick it onto the plastic lid. And keep cutting. You will need about two strips per finger, so I would make even more than 20 just in case that you mess up. Now that the strips are done, we can start painting our nails. So we're gonna start with a bottom layer of the mint color on all the fingers except the ring finger. Apply the darker color to the fourth finger. Then go ahead and apply a second coat to all the nails. They should look something like this. Now let them dry. Once they're dry, apply white nail polish to the top half of the nails. For all of them except for the fourth finger. It's okay if they're not perfect because the tape will cover the unevenness. Once they're dry, kind of tacky, take a nail metallic strip and go ahead and cut both ends until it's the right size for your nail width. Then go ahead and apply it on the line between the white and the mint color then snip off any excess tape. So you're just gonna do this for all the nails except for the ring finger. Once they have dried, take the dark blue color and paint the top half of the white part of the nail. And once again, don't worry if it's not perfect. So let them dry for a little bit. So once again, cut the tape and apply it to your nail. This time it will be placed in between the dark blue and white portions of the nail. I kind of think of it as a double French tip. Once that's done, apply a top coat to those four nails. Now we're going to deal with the fourth nail. For this nail, I'm going to do a dark to light look. I painted the mint color on three-fourths of the nail. Then I used the tape to separate those two colors. Once that dried, I added white polish to the top half of the green mint color. And then, yep, you guessed it, you add tape right between the mint and the white color. Seal it off with the top coat and you are all finished. This nail tape is a simple concept and I hope you guys all get a chance to try it. Thanks for watching.